Hi, my name is Brian Doherty and I have the following questions to ask Viscount Petersham, who lives on an estate in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. My wife and I reported a paedophile to you to protect your children who had returned home from school for the holidays. Why did you threaten us with social services if we reported this man to the police? Why did you take a camera phone picture of my son Sebastian on our visit to view the cottage on your estate? Why were you only aware of the existence of our son despite us telling you and your wife and the estate agent about our other children? Why did you finally turn up an hour and a half late for the meeting we had arranged with you after we wrote to you and informed you about Alan's offer of cash for our son and why would your daughter lie and state that you were not at home? Why did you tell my wife and I, when we came to view your cottage, that you barely knew and did not like Alan Law, and then defended him as your close friend when we told you that he offered us money for access to our son? Do you agree that some intensely stupid people can give away their involvement in things by their reactions and the things they say or the things they threaten? Do you think it's suspicious behaviour that on the one hand you denied knowing Alan Lowe and stated you disliked him, only to vigorously defend him when we informed you he was a paedophile? Friends tend to be friends because they share common interests or a common background. Could you explain why you're such a close friend with Alan Lowe? The uneducated, drink driving, dope smoking, tax avoiding 50 year old handyman who shares his home with two teenage boys and offered me money for access to my disabled son. Alan Lowe bragged to me that he was going to buy a 10 grand computer. What do you think, or what do you think he was going to use this £10,000 computer for? Where do you think the cheap and not very cheerful Alan Lowe? was going to get the £25,000 he offered to buy my son. Why do you think a father of two children such as yourself would use his position and influence to attack me and my wife who reported a paedophile to you? Do you think that being married to a former model is an effective form of camouflage? Do you know the person who it was who vandalised their cars and baby trapped the greenhouse which fell on her daughter after I told Alan Lowe to stay away from her children. What did you hope to achieve by telling us that Alan Lowe was your good friend when we told you he'd offered us £25,000 for access to our son? Did you actually think that by telling us he was your close friend that we would overlook that he was a danger to our children? Why did you threaten my wife and I with social services when we reported a paedophile to you to protect your children who had returned, who'd returned home from school for the holidays? Why did you try to prevent us talking about this paedophile friend in front of the estate agent? And why did you try to dissuade me and my wife from reporting Alan Lowe to the police? And finally, why were you very angry when we told you that we'd already reported this man, Alan Lowe, to the National Crime Agency?